Hello everyone and welcome to the Voice of the Prophet YouTube channel. My name is Prophetess Janelle and if this is your first time joining with us, I want to welcome you. Thank you for coming and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being um, faithful and coming along with us in this um, journey of the prophetic as well. And so on today, I just want to say how are you guys doing? Have you had a good day? Have you had a good week? Have you been in your word? Have you been praying? Have you been speaking to God? Um, let me know in the comment section how you guys have been i really would like to hear um also if you guys have any testimonies to share that'd be great as well and so today I'm, i want to release this word that the lord been put on my heart concerning his people his bride where the church is right now and what he's expecting from us if this is your first time coming on this journey with um this channel um this is where the lord gives me um the platform to minister to speak the prophetic words that he gives me for nations and countries and peoples and so today we're going to be talking to his bride his church and so this is not a new word but um it's one that he wants me to reiterate and so we're going to be reading from a very familiar passage of scripture matthew 5 14 and i'm going to be reading from the nlt version and so it says this you are the light of the world like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden no one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket instead a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house in the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly father. And so the Lord been speaking to me and he says this. He says, now is the time for the church to arise. Now is the time more than ever. Like I said, this is not a new word, but it's one that needs to be um, reiterated. Now is the time for his people in his church to shine, to let your light shine, to come out of hiding, to come out of obscurity and indifference you know many times you know as as christians and if you're a new christian you know a lot of times when you first get saved you know you can have so much zeal and so much passion and there are so many places and areas of journeys that we go through highs and lows in our christian walk and so a lot of times if you've been christian for a while you know you can you come out of that place of zeal and you come into a place of like complacency and many times some christians they feel so empowered when they're in church and they're around other believers but when they're out on their job or they're with their family or around people who may not believe talk the same walk the same need the same as them and it, it, it can be a place of intimidation they can be intimidated by it and so they kind of like dummy down water down try to hide that light but the lord is saying no he wants his people his church is bright to shine bright now more than ever and it's not our light but it's his light shining through us um in the book of isaiah in chapter 6 he says arise and shine for that light has risen upon me upon his chosen people and we are his chosen people and even in these times where it's so dark you know, like I said before, many times we can be in a place of indifference, um, in a place where, you know, you feel like, you know, nobody wants to hear this, like the whole agenda of the world and what the world is spewing out. Nobody wants to hear about Jesus right now. There's a lot of persecution, you know, happening with Christians in America is, is it, it, there's a, it's a different kind of persecution. It's not like it is in other countries, but yet and still it is a persecution. And so a lot of times, you know, Christian way of thinking, the way we do things is not very popular. And so, you you know, a lot of times, like people, we don't want to speak, we don't want to say, we don't want to go against the grain, you know, we want to just kind of blend in, you know, just, um, and just kind of, you know, just go along with what's happening. But the Lord says, no, he says, no, he said, I need you to stand up. If you're the one that I'm speaking to you on today, where you feel like you've been in a place of indifference, you feel like you've been blending in, you feel like you've been hiding, like, you know, you don't really share the gospel, you don't really share the good news, everybody around you doesn't know that you're a Christian, you know, they don't know the morals, you don't stand up for what's right and speak against what's wrong, you know, God is saying, no, I need you to stand up. I need you to come out of that place of indifference. I need you to come out of blending. I need you to come out of fitting in. You don't have to be afraid. He said, don't be ashamed of me. The light, listen, the light that's on the inside of you, people need to see it. Like the scripture said, he says, when instead a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house so that means those people that are in the house those people that are on your job listen that people that are in your community your family they need the light they may not know they need the light but they need that light and when that light you allow that light to begin to shine listen it's going to illuminate every dark place around but if you allow yourself to remain in that place of indifference and obscurity and hiding and blending in and just being a part of the normal culture then guess what you allow that darkness to overtake and here's the thing about it, guys. 
here's the thing a lot of times you know it's that one person on the job that is just like so flamboyant with their sin like they just talking so loud about it they're not ashamed and, and it's that one individual who you feel like you know i don't want to talk to them about jesus like i don't want to say anything like i don't want to go there you know they they you, you it may seem as though their mind's already made up but guess what it's usually that one individual who seems to already have their mind made up who seems to you say you know what i don't want to hear nothing about your jesus that one individual who seems like they're so comfortable and so in love with this world and their sin that is really the actual one that needs to hear they're really the actual one that needs to know but um but from you looking on the, on the outside you can't tell and so watch this a lot of times being different, you know, is not popular. A lot of times going against the grain is not the thing that we want to do because it causes us to stand out. It causes us to look different. It causes us, you know, like a, like a light to stand out in darkness. But watch this. Let's look at Jesus. Jesus, although Jesus was ridiculed, he was talked about, you know, he was he was made fun of, you know, by a, a, a popular a part of the community of the Jewish um, community, the Pharisees and Sadducees, those who knew the word, right? They talked about him. They ridiculed him. They were constantly criticizing him. Like we see today, we are constantly criticized. Christians are criticized about everything that we do and say. But guess what? Even though he was criticized and even though he was talked about, there was such a large following that followed him. Yes, he had people against him, but they surely were not more than those who were with him. And so that's what I want to remind you on today. Yes, you're going to have those skeptics. Yes, you're going to have those critics. Yes, though, you're going to have those people who are going to talk about you. But at the end of the day, there are are people and even even in those same group of people that criticize those are the ones that are following you those are the ones that are listening when you don't think they are those are the ones that are watching you when you don't think that they are watching and so today i just want to encourage you to come out just let your light shine let don't go along with the culture norm don't try to fit in listen jesus needs you because why because as you let your light shine as you set your standards as you let people know who you serve and they see your life that's what's going to draw men to them you don't have to go around beating people over the head with the bible and you know enforcing scripture on them you don't have to do that you just let your light shine encourage them when they need to be encouraged pray for them if they need prayer you know give them you know live a life of integrity live that life of love and not hatred and not revenge pray for your enemies and you that is your light your good deeds that you do you know you can be that walking bible that is your light and you will draw men to you and people will come and they will be drawn to you just like they were to jesus and so I just want to say people of God continue to do what God has called for us to do stand up in this time it's such a dark season we're in times of darkness the world is getting so dark right now and the world needs to see our light the world does not need to see the church just falling backward and going along with everything that happens no we have to stand up do we need to stand up and fight we fight in prayer and we got when we let God do the rest we don't we don't need to fight in the way that the world fights no but we have to stand up and let our light shine and let the en enemy know no there's light here no there are people who, who still believe in Jesus, who still follow God's way, and who know that he is real. And when we do that, we're going to see the power of God move and flow in this world like we have never seen before. So stand up, people of God. Be encouraged and let your light shine. Before I close out um, of this video i want to invite you if you're watching this video and you may not be saved you may have never given your life to christ i want to invite you into his fellowship you know it don't cost you nothing you don't have to pay anything you don't have to sign no agreement no contract all you have to do is accept him into your heart and so if you want to repeat after me you can do so now lord jesus I accept you into my heart. I believe that you are the son of God and that you died on the cross and that you rose on the dirt third day for the remission of my sins. And now you're seated at the right hand of the father. Lord, I pray that you will forgive me of all of my sins. I know that I'm a sinner and I repent and I confess that I am a sinner, but I ask you to help me live this walk, to help me live holy. And now father, I pray those who have accepted this prayer that you will fill them with your Holy Spirit because that's the only way that we can live holy is with the Holy Spirit. And so now you if you have prayed that prayer, you are a part of the beloved. There's nothing else that you need to do. God can take care of the rest. Um, try to find a church home or someone who is a believer in Christ that can help you along with this journey and that will help you grow. So people of God, thank you for joining us today. Be blessed and don't forget, don't be afraid to let your light shine. This world needs you. Have a good day and be blessed.